So excited to be here with Lisa Basquiat, the owner of Harahub Carlsbad. And uh, you show quite a bit of art there in Carlsbad. You connect with local artists, um, do art openings, um, really have embraced the community there. I love supporting local artists because most folks who decide to become artists do that because they're really fulfilling something that's inside of them or and or they have found art you know in any form as a uh something that helps them to uh express you know who they are what they're thinking the emotions that they're having and it can be very cathartic for artists i think there's this this um, idea of this, this heaviness around art, you know, can I buy art? Am I good enough to buy art? Is it, you know, and all of that. And, and I don't think that's the road. I think the road is if you see something you love, if it speaks to you, if there's a story about it that resonates with you, invest, you know, for me, it's about, it's less about a name. It's more about, you know, either an artist or a piece of artwork that resonates with me that resonates with something I'm feeling or something that's going on for me. I know there are some folks who believe that, you know, buying art is like a privilege, you know, and it's something that's kind of like for those people, for other people, but it's not true. You know, I'm from New York, a place where you walk the streets and there are local artists who, you know, put their art up on the sidewalk during the weekends and sell to people. Um, I don't think it's a privilege. I think it's just as much a part or can be just as much a part of the aesthetic of your home or office as a beautiful piece of furniture. The art that I have purchased over the years and especially love is something that is a conversation piece, right? Somebody, I had a piece in one of our first art shows, um, early art shows, and we also had up in uh, Carlsbad as well, um, a North County artist who I think at the time was about 87 years old. <laughs> when, uh, yeah. Lola Juris, an yes. incredible, incredible woman. Um, and we love her art yeah. and uh, had been, didn't paint all her life until later in life. Mm -hmm. And um, I bought a piece from her and it's, it hangs in Sorrento. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And and um, somebody walked by it the other day and they're like, is that a sea dragon? What is that? And they like stepped closer to it. And they're like, wow, that's really cool. You know, like it was that that connection then mm -hmm. that that individual and I had because they saw a piece of work that I also admired and it started a conversation. You know, sometimes I'll buy a piece of art because of the story behind it. I had a conversation with that artist and she shared what she was thinking uh, or her perspective on the piece of artwork that she created. And uh, for her, it was a very sensual piece. And, you know, it was about, you know, opening and expansion. And, and I loved that. I loved the art. I loved the color in the art. And I also loved the story behind the art. And sometimes that is, it's just that, you know, it's just as simple as that, just like my purchase of anything else, you know, um, there are other times where I will buy a piece of artwork because, you know, I bought a piece of artwork during the pandemic uh, and I bought it because I really, there was a lot going on in the world and someone, you know, created a piece of artwork and it was called Ancestors Rising. And it was like this beautiful, uh, you know, portrayal of all of these like beautiful African faces and black faces. And I needed that in that moment. And so I saw that piece of artwork and I was like, yeah, I want that. So I think that, you know, for those who are considering buying art, um, don't worry so much about it. Just allow your soul to connect with the soul of the work, you know, and then decide whether or not it's something that fits, you know, for your, for your budget and for your wallet, and then just take it from there and enjoy it. Right, you're investing in that individual. You are propelling another small business owner. Absolutely. Which is really, really important. Absolutely, but I do think there's something to that investment thing, Felina, because it's like, you know, we invest money all the time. 
But I think that because it's art, it's kind of like this behind the curtain thing, right? You know, I can look at the same, I can have the same piece of artwork sitting in front of me and walk by it a hundred times and then walk by it on a particular day and see something completely, completely different than what I've seen before. So I just think art isn't just for museums. You know, um, anyone can buy a piece of art. It does not have to be a, you know, million dollar piece of artwork. Um, I think that it is a great way to encourage and compliment someone that's put their heart into it. You know, frame your kids' artwork, you know, buy the artwork if you like it, if it fits your wallet, and if it's something that feels good to you. Don't worry so much about the price tag because you know that you've purchased things that are $500, $20, $1,000 in some way in your life. And so stick art in there with that. It's something that accompanies you and and, uh, helps you to kind of see the world differently. You're making an investment both in your own creativity and in the business, in a small business owner, you know, an entrepreneur, because that's what art, that's what artists are. Yeah, absolutely. And buy art for other people. We've, I know we've had members who have purchased pieces they've seen at Hair Hub for their mm-hmm. mother or mother in law or friend. And what an incredible gift for somebody instead of just this, you know, thing that you bought off Amazon, right? Like absolutely. that connection and then their connection to you and the artist. Absolutely. I bought a piece for my daughter right around the time that she was uh, having my granddaughter. And, uh, and it was just this beautiful piece about mother and about love. And, uh, and there was a hummingbird in there and it was really beautiful. And I bought that for her and it hangs, you know, in her, you know, in her space right now. So I think it's a great gift to give to someone. Uh, it's something that they will have for a really, ro- really long time and get creative with it. Move your art around. It doesn't have to like be, you know, in one spot. You know, you can, art is interchangeable. Just take it down, put it up and enjoy it. And come to one of the art openings at Hera Hub. We yes. do them as often as we can. And, you know, um, you know, come to one of those art openings. It's a great way to celebrate, you know, the hanging of, uh, of an artist's work. Yeah. And connect with other people about art and the discussion around art. As Mm -hmm. you mentioned, we invite the artists to come in, talk about their art. Mm -hmm. A lot of galleries, you know, don't do that. They may, they may have an art opening and the artist may be there, but, you know, we really set our artists down and, and, you know, have an open dialogue and have people ask them questions. It's such an intimate way to get to know the artist. Yeah. And to connect to what that person was thinking and feeling and experiencing at the time. Yeah, absolutely. 